Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Perfect Shot is a board game about going into the wild and taking pictures of animals in their environment and habitat. And sometimes you get lucky and find a Yeti. So in this game, you're going to be placing these kind of tile, these uh, cards down, these oversized, terror-sized cards with holes in them. And you'll be placing them on other tiles that happen to have animals on them. And you want the animals to be inside of the circle. Right there, right now, I will say this game is imprecise. You have to be able to go with the flow. Because of that, I will just take gamers out of it and say this is not a gamer's game. This is squarely in for families and children who it's intended to be played for. If you can't deal with the imprecise nature, if your kid says it's there, give him the point, lift it up, oh, a little hair on their left knuckle is there, great. Give him a point. Let them enjoy the game. If you're not capable of doing that, this is not the game for you. It's just not a precise game. We didn't have any problems. We're a go with the flow kind of family, and we really had fun. You can call that perfect shot, but you're always gonna. Is it a perfect shot? If my kid does it, absolutely. And we're gonna high five, and we're gonna score some points, and we're gonna have a great family night. And that's all we're really looking for from this game. Put the imprecise nature away. We're done talking about it. This is a really fun game. I'm trying to. You're not allowed to like get your card and make sure it fits anything else. You just eyeball it. You put it in, and you hope it's a good one. And when you go for those perfect shots, and you get lucky or skillful, whatever you want to call it. When dad does it, it's skillful. When they do it, it's luck. It is a fun experience. You're going to be getting these album cards that will score a little bit differently. So you're looking for certain things. You're hoping you can get those out. And nothing is more fun than when dad is for sure. Perfect shot. I'm going to get that panda. And you put it down, and it's an elephant. And I didn't get it. And anyway, so it didn't score me anything. And I missed out. And everybody else is laughing. And those kind of moments in here. We're just confident it's going to fit. Boy, were you wrong. And those are fun moments. You'll be collecting these different animals. I think there's six different types plus the yetes. Yetes, you do, you, you got to get, they're, they're face down, so you have to make sure you get the path, the, the right side and the left side to make one. And I got the perfect shot of the yeti because they're very hard to find, as you know from nature. This is a fun little game. It's not going to blow your socks off. It's not going to be the most innovative. Well, it's probably innovative. It's just not going to be the most, uh, what am I trying to say? It's not going to be just the most wow factor, fun game, strategic decisions you're going to be making. Instead, you're going to be taking these photographic shots of the wild animals and hoping you get a yeti from time to time. Very fun. Very unique. And the designer has a very unique way of thinking to create a game like this. I'm very impressed by it. Keeper for us. So here's Perfect Shot by Matigo Games. A little small box. and Really a striking scene. It's just what we're doing this. There's the photographer. He's taking a picture of the animals. And you have a Yeti and some things hidden in the background. Perfect. You can get this, which you'll put together. And you can play with it as you're playing the game. You're going to get a rule book, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. So the rest of the box is kind of like this. And when you're playing the game, you can just put this inside of here if you want to. Or you can just set it aside. So this works out pretty well. You're going to get your picture cards, which are really nice. They all have different kind of holes in them and different animals on these. These actually work pretty well and very beautiful. They're a tad thin, but I think it's okay. You're going to get a number of these tokens. They're going to be double-sided for the different animals. So you need to be very careful when you pick them up, but very good quality. And then last, you're going to have your album cards, which are mostly just places to place tiles, but you do have scoring up here you need to keep track of, and it kind of tells you the scoring of it. These are a little thin too, but they just sit on the board, on the table rather, so they should be fine. Components are really good. You get uh, six different types of animals, plus your yetes that you'll have in the game. So on your turn, you're going to have two albums that are available, or one for each player. Uh, of the game and you're going to have three of these cards so on your turn what you can do is you can pick up one of these albums they have different scoring on it this one says if you have two elephants on it, you're going to get two victory points this one says if you have four ice tiles animal doesn't matter you're going to get two points each of these will score a little bit different so you can simply take one of these for an action and a new one will come out for the next player and you're not going to score any points unless you have these albums so you're going to score one point for every one that you put on here then if you meet the requirement you're going to score points after this deck is run out, everybody has played all the cards. Whoever has the most points is going to be the winner. So you're going to need to get these albums in the game in order to put tiles on them. So how do you get tiles? You'll be able to place one of your cards down, and you'll be able to place it in here in the center. And whatever animals, and you're not allowed to look and place it. You just kind of have to, you know, kind of guess, I guess, a little bit. And you place your card dial down, and if any piece of an animal at all is showing, here's a tiger. 
then you would gain a tiger tile. When you gain this, you could put it directly on an album. It doesn't matter. You can move these around even up to the end of the game. You could set them aside and place it later, whatever you want to do. But at the end of the game, you want to go to score a point if they're on these albums here. And you can get more of these through the game. So if somebody was to place another one, you can do them upside down. It doesn't matter. And you know, sometimes you won't get anything. Sometimes you will. So I would get a Walrus for this. And I can see the Yeti's foot just through that. So the Yeti tiles will always be face down. When you get one of them, you just grab it, and you can see they're kind of two halves of the same one. So if I was to grab one of these, maybe I would try to get one of these later. If you're able to get a full picture of Yeti by getting two tiles, that's worth an extra victory point at the end of the game. Also, once again, they do need to be on your albums in order to score at the end of the game. So maybe I would have something like that. This would be worth one, two, uh, three for the full Yeti. And if they were all ice, I would score more, which they're not. So that's kind of how that would go, and etc. Now, here's one other thing you can do. If you feel like that you can do a perfect shot, and you can get an animal, all of the animal inside of your thing here. So let me show you. So this is not a legal move, but just kind of show you. If you were to place this down, and it, the entirety of the animal is there, and you called it in advance, kind of like a bank shot in basketball, then you're going to get two points for that. You can only call a perfect shot twice during the game. But if you're successful in that, it's going to give you two extra points. If not, it's going to give you zero. But you definitely want to try those out. And they are pretty difficult to do. Now, the game isn't super precise, so you're always going to be arguing a little bit about were they in the picture, were they not. But that's a general overview of how you play the game. Who should buy this game squarely for families and children? But listen, it's got to be families and children that can roll with the punches when things are not as precise as you hope they would be. This is not going to be that game. But if you like the idea of going out in nature and taking pictures of the animals and collecting them in the, not collecting the animals, but collecting the pictures of the animals into your albums and scoring those based on those cards, some might want like three jungles, one might want four elephants, and you're, and you're trying to add those in. Woo, very fun experience. One Very unique game here, guys. Very unique. And uh, the designer has a magnificent mind, people think of this. Excellent job.